here. Uh, uh, Demetrius will be coming outside. There he is. <laughs> the magics of the wiki, ladies and gentlemen. This is perfect. Just what I was looking. <sighs> I just gave this man my bloody wool. <sighs> Are you serious right now? Oh, fuck. Hey guys, how are we all keeping? Artemis here, and welcome back to episode 20 here on the Romanic Farm. Guys, I'm excited. Fall is just around the corner, and we need to have a sizable amount of gold for all those new crops. A quick side note here, of course. Cheers for joining me today, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. Let's get into it. The weather for today is already sunny, but tomorrow it's going to be sunny as well. The fortune for today is also bad, so that is, I guess, kind of going to work in my favor. And the Queen of Sauce, what does she have for us today? I swear to God, I've seen this many times. The old stir fry. Alright guys, so for today, we've got four days left of fall. It's going to be a bit of cleaning up for the last couple of days. But today, I do need to go and sell all of these fish. And that actually makes sense because it is Willie's birthday today as well. So it's going to be doing some fishing uh, towards the end of the day. But doing some cleaning up around the farm to begin with. So let's get into it. So let's go and see all the chicks and see how they're all going. And now hello. <gasps> wait, wait, is this the large white egg now? Excellent, excellent. So now we've got that one. And we have the duck egg. Fantastic. So I'm not going to show you guys there. I'll make the uh, things pop up on the screen. So that means we have a couple of the, uh, we have a couple of the extra things for the community center then. Yeah, so these two, and looks like we can just put this egg into the mayonnaise machine now. Awesome. Good work. Excellent. So we can let them out to go and play. <laughs> it's like they've been naughty children or something. I'm pretty sure that's the one I still need, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Too bad it's a silver one. I'm going to hold on to it. And once I get a normal one... Hello, Benjamin. How you going, buddy? You got all these friends now. I bet he's absolutely just... You know, the amount of jubilee he has should be astounding. If we find a normal white egg that is not silver, then I reckon we'll swap it over at that point. And let's see how all the four-legged animals are doing they all seem to be doing absolutely fine robin seems to be doing her work there as well so thank you very much robin nice no, that one's not going to give me any milk this one's going large milk and that's a small milk um mr Wu, you're you're uh, falling behind mate you gotta work on your milk bro <laughs> jesus did i just ask mr Wu to <clears throat> to work on his milk that's a little bit disturbing and I think only a couple of days are left before I have to worry about having to fill those up. And these guys are free to go frolicking. Just going to do a little bit of clearing here. And we do actually have a pine tar here as well. Uh, that's something else for a community center bundle. Um, that one's never going to grow because it's too close. I don't want that one to grow, neither would that one. So I'm just going to have a quick look see to see... Hmm, wait a minute. One, two, three, four... We need to have five extra tappers, so let's see if we can make those five extra tappers. Probably not. We can get another three out. We'll let that slide for the time being. We'll deal with that soon. And I'm just going to toss this pine tar in here as well, so that's where it needs to be. I reckon tomorrow I'll do a trick with the hay, because I want to make the most use of all this grass that's growing at the moment. But we do have a couple of things here as well, tomatoes and hot peppers, which is fantastic. Cool, excellent, nothing there, but we do have some corn left as well. I'm actually not a fan of the corn crop at all, but because it's for the community center, I kind of forced to plant it, but I'm not a huge fan of corn. The price, the selling price, it's... Yeah, when I did my, my crops guide video and I looked at that one, I didn't like it. We gotta go and quickly take care of the garbage here as well. Running kind of low on that stuff as well. Um, do we have any other rubbish? Is this literally all we have? It's getting to the point where if we don't have any more rubbish, then I may not even bother doing this. Like, I've gotten heaps of stuff from it, and it's fantastic, but if I'm not getting any rubbish, I've got to put a hold to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell this tomato. We'll sell all these tomato things and veggies. Actually, you know what? We don't need any any stuff on us at the moment. I kept all these fish because we were going to go ahead and sell them today because we finally finally reached level 10 farming yesterday or in the last episode and that was pretty good 
Now before I forget, I need to quickly go and pick up a diamond because if we're going to go in Willy's direction, I want to make sure that I have his gift for him. I usually likes fish as well, but I don't have the fish that he's looking for, so he's going to get a diamond. Yeah, we're going to have to part with that uh, diamond for Willy. Okay, so let's go for a quick forage as well as we are on our way to Willy. So I reckon we'll run down, go to the left, and then make our way over to uh, the beach from there. We haven't been to the secret woods for a little bit, and I do feel like doing a little bit of extra uh, hardwood collecting. I'm still yet to clean this entire area. It looks absolutely repulsive. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got ourselves a thingy mushroom here, some slimes. You know, if I wasn't on the beach farm, I would actually be making a whole bunch of uh, trips to the secret forest to get that 100 hardwood that you need for the stable. But really, with the beach farm, without even having to do any of these runs, I've had much more than 100. In fact, I had enough hardwood to make fences, and then some, and then still have enough for the uh, barn or the, the stable as well. It's, it's insane. Oh, there we go. That's an amethyst. And you know what? That is the amethyst I lost to the dwarf in the last episode. I'm actually very happy with that just now. But yeah, guys, uh, if you are enjoying the series, do remember to leave a like on these videos. That really does help me out a lot. Cool. And let's do some trash can diving. It's a bad luck day as well, so I doubt anything is going to be in here. But you know what? If you don't try, you're not going to know. Also, I think maybe the day or two before... Actually, eh, there we go. Let me quickly just read this. Uh, can someone please bring me a spice bread and um, berry? Marnie. Yes, Marnie. I can probably do that for you. How long do you have for that quest? Delivery, uh, two days. Okay, no worries. I think we'll probably do that tomorrow then. Because I don't know where Marnie is right now. Uh, she's probably at her home most likely. But I don't have a spice berry on me. So I've got to remember to bring a spice berry to her tomorrow. I mean, if I don't find one on the beach or anything like that, then not a spice berry on the beach. If I don't find a spice berry foraging, then yeah, we'll probably another trial of Thank you very much. What about another artifact? <laughs> All right, let's quickly go and see the man of the hour. Hey, buddy, how are you? <gasps> if you want to play a cruel joke on Elliot, give him amaranth. He might not forgive you, though. Uh, fair enough, but I've got a diamond for you. A birthday, a birthday gift? That is very kind of you. I love it. I'm glad, mate. And with that little gift, he is now at four hearts. That is fantastic. And while we're here, I think we'll just grab an extra trap bobber as well. Might as well just sell this to him directly. And I think we're just going to get straight into the fishing. Awesome. So let's see how many fish I can catch today. And looks like Willie has just clocked off for the day. The poor man was working on his birthday. But yes, I did a little bit of number crunching, and I think I can more or less guesstimate that the amount of money I'm going to need going into fall is going to be about 30,000 minimum, I think. Because I do still plan to have 30 spaces available for the foraging as well, and I think it's going to be about 88 of them is going to be cranberries, and that's going to be very expensive. And then the rest, I want to cover the community center as well. I just ran out of tackle. I hope this next fish is not going to be difficult. Because I did my last um, uh, crops guide video and it was the fall one. If you guys haven't seen that video already, I'll leave it linked at the end of this uh, video. And yeah, it's quite insightful. I found out that um, grapes are probably the second best crop out of fall. It's not, or maybe even the first really. It's not as profitable as cranberries, but the experience you get from grapes are amazing. What's even funnier is grapes is a forageable in summer, but you grow them in fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at some point we also need to make an effort to get our things... Ooh, I nearly lost that fella. We need to make an effort to get a whole bunch of the geodes to uh, Clint, so we can have some extra stuff to donate to Gunther. So I don't think I've received the... Uh, pumpkin seeds yet. Have I? I need to check that up. I'll have to look when I get back home. This guy's really giving me trouble. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. Just kicking down the cobblestones. I just had to soothe the beast. Really, I think that really did help. 
<laughs> and he gives me a dressed spinner as well. Fantastic. Excellent. That's fantastic. And I'll show you the show you the hall for the night. Um, we'll put these two away though. Um, oh, I don't want that either. Actually, I need to take all the stuff with me. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, a bit too much seaweed, but it is what it is. This is going to bring us in a pretty penny. Fantastic. Okay, I don't think we need to do anything there, but we will close these doors for these guys. There we go. And let's head to bed for the night and see what we can do. Hello, Benjamin. Awesome. So yeah, that was a good day. Let's see how much money we ended up making. At uh, 12,000. So that is going to, well, actually 13,000. So we're setting at two thirds of the deposit that I want for the first of four. So we're doing pretty damn well in that regard. Yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this so far, uh, remember to hit that like button. And let's see what the next day has in store for us. Alright, so the weather for tomorrow is another storm. So that's actually pretty good. Looks like we're going to get heaps of batteries in the meantime. Um, it's neutral luck today, unfortunate. And living off the land is falls almost here. It's arguably the most lucrative season for farmers. I kind of have to disagree. I think summer is the most lucrative for farmers. Anyway, guys, so today... Um, we do need to get that spice berry to Marnie. I want to do a little bit of cleaning up at, at home. I do want to show you that hay trick and maybe we can even make another silo because I am planning on doing some mining. So as we are running up in that direction, I'll see what we can do there. Yeah, I think we'll be able to afford it. We just need a hundred stone. I'm just not going to bother there. hundred stone and we need, uh, what's that? 10 clay. So we need 10 clay and we need... A couple of copper bars as well so I reckon we could probably get that done yeah I reckon getting another silo as well today would be really good uh, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe with you some chowder mate and my knee is aching up again okay here we go here's another update we're gonna take that hot pepper over to George so looks like we'll be running the south way over to where we need to go excellent we're getting a whole bunch of cockles here which isn't too bad they're actually pretty damn good I think Let's quickly grab that spice berry. Yep, we'll just grab this one. And I think Marnie's going to be very happy with that. We'll quickly say hello to Benjamin because he seems to be trapped. Poor little guy. And dig up these worms, which is even more clay, which is fantastic. And here we are. Excellent. Uh, this is a large white egg. Fantastic. It is a regular one as well. And here's our wool as well, guys. So that is another item for the community center. We're doing fantastic, so I think that's almost the entire animal bundles done. One, two, let's quickly go and sort this out now, because I, if I don't do it now, I will forget. This one can be replaced with that one, and there we go, excellent. Oh, actually, we need to put the wool in here as well. Looking very good. Now, I'm pretty sure I did say hello to all the animals. Now, we just need that rabbit to drop us a a rabbit's foot at some point but that's just gonna take time and a, a little bit of luck excellent excellent let's see what we can do here today with these guys and it is actually now the big barn and unfortunately for me that trick I wanted to show you guys I can no longer do it because you had to do it um, when the barn was not a deluxe one you had to have space or maybe I can still do it we'll, we'll check that out Nope, I can't do it anymore. That's unfortunate. All right, so I'll, I'll let you know. So what you do is if you have these spare spaces, right? If you go up to this thing, you can usually, you know, take it out and then whatever. But you can just keep right clicking it and taking out as much as you need. So then if you take everything out, put it into a chest, then you can scythe up more grass. And then you've got, you know, more grass in your silo and then more grass uh, spare. But unfortunately, yesterday was the last day I could do that. So... I can't do that anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate and a little bit rage inducing, but it's okay. I'm not going to be too fussed about it. And let's sell this one, that one, and that one. Awesome. But let's see if anything else has grown here. Yes, our watermelons are finally done. Now, speaking of which, I know Demetrius had asked me for that watermelon a while ago as well. So now we're finally going to be able to do this for him too. Excellent. So this is going to be a a good day for uh, seeing some villagers and just giving them things that they've requested. Yeah, so delivery, which we'll do today, um, the crop research, which is this one, and knee therapy. 
fantastic looking good okay let's go ahead and toss these all into the bins and then let's go and see if we can go find Marnie then George and then Demetrius and then up on our way to the mines sell that one sell that one on two and I think that is everything yeah, I don't want to put those things in whatever I just want the money now okay I think that is pretty much everything so we'll make our way down south and we'll see if we can find Marnie this is actually a good thing because we do need to have two heart levels with Marnie to gain access to her room to find a certain pair of shorts so we can blackmail Lewis on the full uh, the full you know grand display thing hopefully I can make that happen that would be some that'll be good fun <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lewis are absolute friends, as you can tell. Hey, how's the weather? I need something. I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future, although I'll need to make sure that there's a market for them so you have to prove your skill with animals first. Just keep treating your animals with respect and good things will happen. Well, you can have a spice berry. Hello, Artemis. Is that the uh, spice berry I requested? It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. So that one gave me 240. And if we go ahead and look at her relationship, uh, relationship or friendship, friendship status, that's the better word. It's on one. So we got to make sure to keep talking to her and all that sort of stuff as well. Because we need to get those pants. Oh, oh, come on. And here is a spice berry right here. And it's a regular quality. I'm not going to complain. And, you know, Leah can have this. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. It was just over there. I've been having fresh salads almost every day and fresh berries apparently. Oop, there's a loaf of bread that's definitely going to help us in the mines. <laughs> I find so much stuff in the trash, people. You gotta look through the trash. Alright, let's see if we can find old Georgi. Here he is. Hey, Georgi. I can't talk right now, young man. My favorite program is on. You mean the program that's there? Okay, fair enough. And uh, you wanted a hot pepper. Thank you. You it took you long enough. Well, it's a good as spicy at least. Thanks. I just misread that completely. If we check this one, we got 200 there as well. Oh, not too bad. And George is on two levels. I wonder if I forgot George back in the day for his leak because he would be much higher on the uh, level. Unless it's George's birthday. Uh, later on and I'm just thinking that it's spring because that's when the leaks come into um, come into play Actually, you know what ladies and gentlemen, I could have gotten this bundle bundle done right now In fact tomorrow, maybe I should make a quick point of doing that because Yeah, I think you get a cheese press for completing that bundle and having another cheese press because I'll be getting all these goats uh, soon enough will be very worthwhile when you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. God damn it. You know, I always think about maybe it's time I should take a chance on Penny. I haven't done it yet. Maybe in this Let's Play, what do you guys think? Do you think I should uh, marry Penny? Who's your favorite candidate, people? Is it this uh, gremlin right here? <laughs> Hello, I'm definitely, I definitely don't want to go swimming if that's what you're going to ask. That is definitely not what I was going to ask, Sebastian. Oh, you just stopped to say hi. Sorry. Who gets that in their mind? A person comes up and says, Hey, mate. He's like, I don't want to go swimming. It's like, okay, fair enough. Understandable. Good day to you, sir. Hey, did you have a nice walk? I did. Let's construct a silo. Here we go. Silo. And let's build that one over yonder. And... Yeah, why not? We'll just chuck it there. Looking good. Sweet. She'll get started on that tomorrow. And because I'm not overly fussed with the mines at the moment, I'm actually very eager to get a, a extra cheese press. As soon as I get to the mines, I am going to go ahead and quickly bamf back with the uh, what do you call it? with the trolleys and then run back up. We forgot Demetrius. Okay, we do need to go find Demetrius. Not exactly sure where he would be, but anyway, you know what, we'll just do a bit of a um, thingy drop now anyway, get this over and done with. Uh, we do need to go to the community center, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Speaking of which, it looks like Demetrius is actually right in here. 
Uh, don't, don't walk. It. Really? Why is it locked? Okay, give it five seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, uh, Demetrius will be coming outside. There he is. <laughs> the magics of the wiki, ladies and gentlemen. This is perfect. Just what I was looking. <gasps> I just gave this man my bloody wool. <sighs> Are you serious right now? Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I can no longer do that. Actually, can I still do that one? I hate it when that happens. Goat's milk. Nope. Um, I can no longer do this one because I accidentally gave my wool to Demetrius. You know what? Uh, that's fair. I used the wiki to look at where Demetrius is. Uh, that's my punishment. I shall gladly take that as punishment for my misguided deed there. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, let's go to the mines and let's see what we can do here. Can't believe that. Alright, and I'm going to do... I think we need to go to... Let's go to level 55. And there's the first staircase there as well. That's right, we are going to be killing a lot of these dust sprites. So, uh, come here little guys, we need to uh, obliterate you. There we go, gold ore there. Ah, that's a misclick. I hate that when I hate it when that happens, ladies and gentlemen, because I switch in between my um, my hot bars, of course. And if the cursor was already on number two, whatever in number two, wh whatever was in number two, is going to be selected, of course. And then as soon as you speak to the um, villager, it automatically gives it to them. Now I swear to God, if that is, if I don't get another cloth from a rabbit, I'm going to be very upset. Unbelievable. It was an accident, Demetrius. I think that's my thumbnail right there. Oh, we got a couple of the guys down here, which is fantastic. Bugger off, bat. Oh, there's actually a whole bunch of things, guys. And there's also a frozen tear here as well. Ooh, there's a whole bunch down here. I'm having really good luck with these stairs. I'm, yeah, I'm having really good luck with the stairs. God, wow. God, which one do I take? The choices are endless, so it seems. <laughs> Obvious sarcasm. Here we go. Here's one of the levels that I missed last time. Um, because I was speed running through it, I never picked that up. So, that is astounding. It was just silently waiting there for me to finally pick it up. Yeah, I definitely missed this level, I'm pretty sure. So, even although the staircase was, you know, just given to me there... I am going to have to run all the way to the end, because I'm pretty sure there'll be a bunch of crates at the end that I, and little guys, that I need to uh, deal with. I'm so t I'm so keen to get that burglar, burglar ring, because usually by um, winter I start doing massive uh, skull cave runs, and I want to have the burglar ring by that point. And I think at this rate I should probably get it. And there's another staircase, thank you kindly. Alright, moment of truth, let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a jade there, that's not too bad. Another jade, some copper, uh, a very uh, decisive guy that can just dodge me. Uh, no glow ring, unfortunately. What does it require to make this glow ring? I may go about actually making that one now, because I've waited long enough and never getting a glow ring. It's ridiculous. I think I need to go ahead and get, make myself a glow ring now. Awesome, so let's go ahead and do this. Fantastic, toss all this in here. All right, that is everything, so let's quickly head back home to the bus stop. I'm gonna put all these ones back in there. We'll quickly close these doors so I can catch them before they run amok tomorrow. And right now, uh, let's see here, we do have, yeah, we got plenty of these. Let's see what we can do here, ladies and gentlemen. We want to make this, so five solar essence. Yeah, we got that. Okay, emits constant light and also increases your radius for collecting items. All right, so here we go, finally. Now we have some light. Now you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry that it took so long, ladies and gentlemen. All right, excellent, that's looking good. I think we can more or less head to bed now. Hello, Benjamin. And yeah, awesome, ah, that's a good day. And level 8 mining, excellent, that's going very well. And today we were able 
to make 9,200. I think we actually have enough money now for uh, the start of full. Uh, but I am going to continue because we still need to make these stable. And we still need to get a house upgrade as well. So uh, the more the better. So yeah, guys, if you think my progress so far is going very well, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Right here, the weather tomorrow is going to be sunny again. Fantastic. The fortune today is going to be good luck. So let's see if we can make the most of it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so today it's going to be a very simple day. Um, before I get to that, um, we're going to go see Dolores, see what she has today as it's Friday. Um, do a bit of a clean up at the farm, you know, any wood, uh, any things that need to be gathered. And also probably going to spend some time fishing today. It's getting towards the end of it. And I want more money for full because I also want the house upgrade and a stable as soon as we can uh, with the pig as well. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, he's given me the autumn's bounty, which is fantastic. And this thing, it is for the community center as well. So that is another one, which is fantastic. All right, let's quickly go see what the animals has left for us. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and chop down this entire forest as well, actually. Awesome. And we got a whole bunch of things here now. We don't have to worry about um, any more of their items, except for the wool, which I hope gets replaced very shortly. But we are actually stuck now with four eggs um yeah so we need to have another mayonnaise machine maker here so actually you know what i'm going to do i'll probably have to make a couple of extra items for that like a um a cheese press and a thingy wait what am i doing that's that's the wrong chest <laughs> that's the wrong chest indeed mayonnaise needs to go in there Alright, so I just need to have these resources on me. Our copper bars as well. So let's see what we can do here. And also the earth crystal. So let's grab an earth crystal here. And we need to have a couple of earth crystals on me. I'm going to make two of these guys. And I'm going to make two of these guys. Because I know for a fact that I will be getting more animals soon as well. So uh, before we get too confused here. Let's quickly go and pop these mayonnaise machine makers back where they belong. Cool. Because pretty soon we're going to have uh, more ducklings, uh, more uh, chickens as well. So if we do this now, it's just going to be sorted. We're probably going to cut off that entire forest as well. And let's quickly go and see these guys here. And I think they're looking pretty well. Let's grab our milk pail. Yep, these guys are still babies, which is A-OK. -okay. That's a large milk and a small milk. I'm looking forward to the day to seeing uh, two large milks. There we go. Excellent. So that's another two ready for these guys. Now I did spy with my little eye some oak resin here. So that is a good sign. That is another thing for the community center. And we're just missing the maple syrup then. So we'll just have to wait until that one is ready. And I think I can see that the blueberries are ready as well. Yeah, all those blueberries are good to go, so that's definitely going to put us up by quite a bit. We have another massive amount of foraging to be collected as well. So, yeah, this is actually looking like a very good day. Wow, <laughs> this is going to be good. I have no idea if I planted that uh, star fruit too late. I just planted it because there was an open space and it was in my inventory, and I just uh, couldn't be bothered. So I hope I didn't do it too late. If I did, um, oh well. <laughs> nothing to be done about it now and you know what I'm going to what I'm going to do I'm going to take this out here hack this up and maybe just place it somewhere else like maybe maybe right there just so it's out of the way of that tree because I'm pretty sure that tree really wants to grow but awesome so that is all done and dusted I can't get through here um, yeah I'm gonna quickly go ahead and chop down this entire forest ladies and gentlemen Maybe I should actually, I don't think I have any extra, yeah, no, I won't be able to make any extra, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop down this entire forest, but let's just quickly put that in there, put these cheeses in here, and just sell all of these as well, that's looking good, and yeah, all these ones in here, so if I do need to get extra money, I reckon we have more than enough to make it as well, so that's going to be really good. 
All right, let's chop down this entire forest. The other reason why we're actually cutting down a lot of wood is because the sta actually the stable is just hardwood, but the house upgrade is actually uh, 450 wood or something along the lines of that. I'll I'll put it up on the screen, but it's quite expensive. So I think this forest will put us closer towards that goal as well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go run down to Dolores because I do not want to miss her. And then I'll run back up here, finish the forest, and I'll teleport to the ocean. Because if I was to miss Dolores, and it's the day with the uh, red cabbage, I'll be very upset. Alright, Dolores, please, have the good stuff. I stopped my wood chopping, um, wood chopping for you. Alright, so we have... Uh, nothing special. Uh, just the rare seeds, but that's nothing special. And back to it. Plus, this is probably going to be really good for my foraging skill as well. Now, unfortunately, I do not have enough fertilizer for these ones. I do have to make a point of getting fertilizer now. But that doesn't stop me from being able to plant the uh, seeds for them. So, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Well, it was exactly. So, what I might quickly do is just cut this wheat back a little bit or this grass so it doesn't come too close to my trees there we go so we do have 580 wood now and that's just the beginning we do have a lot of extra sap now for the next season yet more than enough i have a feeling we probably have enough for the house upgrade but it is what it is this is the final one here let us teleport over there and finish the night with a little bit of fishing. Alright, let's see what we can get here. At least I'm not completely in darkness now. Wasn't able to make a full fishing day, but I'm pretty sure all those crops and blueberries are probably going to push me over the edge of 4,000 at least. So yeah, that's looking very good. And with all those summer f um, forageables that we got as well, I, I think we could probably make at least another 100, maybe even 200 there, so that'll be another thou, uh, 10,000 there, uh, just like last time. It, that'll be very nice. I hope this is not going to be a super cucumber because I do not have a trap bobber on me. Of course it is. Alright, let's see if I can get it without a trap bobber. What are you going to do, buddy? You're going to try and run away? Actually, he was a very chill one. Thank God for that. Alright, awesome. We'll quickly check out the hole for the night and put that back in here uh well it was a very short night but we did get uh five super cucumbers so that's not bad at all oh that is so much better with the light ring oh my god <laughs> sorry ladies and gentlemen if you were watching with it being in darkness but yeah it's one of those things that in the beginning of the game you can't really help and then you can help it at some point but it's like it, a, a, a thingy ring could just be in the uh, chests but I said, no, nope, enough is enough. Let's go ahead and make it. Awesome, looking good. So let's sell all these ones. Just going to empty some of these things now. We do need to remember to plant that rare seed. Actually, speaking of which, um, we do not have that. So in the next episode, we're going to have to make an effort to get to uh, Clint and actually sell him or get him to break open some geodes. Awesome. And yeah, I think that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's head to bed and see how much money we made for the day. So today it was another 13,000, uh, 20,000? 17,000. Whew, that is a lot of money for a single day. Excellent, that's going very well. Awesome, so we're sitting at 50,000 at the moment. And I think a ballpark was I wanted to have at least 30,000 by the end of fall. So. Uh, yeah, we have absolutely beaten that record. Yeah, things are going very well. I think we're going to maybe look at getting our stable or our house upgrade in the next episode just so we can get a little bit of speed, but it depends on um, how much I need for the actual fall crops. I think I might go get a precise number for that. But yeah, now so this episode was more or less just preparing for the next season. We got heaps of money and yeah, heaps of wood as well. We can definitely get a house upgrade as well now, I think. so. Yeah, that's going very well, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. If you did like that, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here and you're enjoying the content, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be going all the way to the end of the 
community center and even beyond i'm having i'm having a blast doing this so cheers guys until next time